Let's talk about security Please. for a minute. So Peter, as you said correctly, quantum computers can do many, many positive things in the world, but one thing they also do, we know from a 1994 paper from Peter Shore, a brilliant mathematician, and he realizes in the epiphany that this computer once built will break the encryption that we all use. And if you want to build a global economy, such as we just did since the 70s and 80s, that global economy was fueled by a number of things, but one of the key drivers was public key encryption. Six years ago, a number of governments around the world came together and said, whoa boy, we better have a solution for this because this train is coming at us hard. And so they got together, made an open call, transparent process and said, come all ye who have an idea for a better protocol that would not be killed by quantum computers. That was more or less the statement. And, <laughs> and sure enough, people came in and was 82 different ideas of how to have a protocol for securely transmitting information just the way we do right now, but to do so that is not breakable by a quantum computer. We call it quantum safe cryptography or post quantum cryptography. Now the real work begins. This cannot happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. In fact, it's going to take a number of years to happen. But now we have a roadway, a roadmap to make it happen. I just put this slide up, Peter, just to show that when you look at banks, banks have been in the news recently. <laughs> and among the other things, not just the balance sheets and the number of bonds and the interest rate of the bonds and with the interest rate swaps and many other things, but also the IT infrastructure. Because of the amalgamation of M&A that led to all these large banks. And we can say the same thing about pharma wow. and the M&A in pharma, and we can say the same thing about other industries, telco, as an example. And so what we find when we go in there with forensic tools, we find old protocols, protocols that are not just subject to quantum attack, protocols that have been broken and we can break it by an iPhone. We find this in governments around the world. We find this in hospitals around the world. These are protocols that have been broken already and we need to go in there and identify these vulnerabilities and then migrate them over to better standards. So quantum is a, is a great catalyst. This is the positive news. It's a wonderful catalyst for us to finally fulfill this obligation to secure our data.